Hey guys, Mitch here with the Audio Dabbler YouTube channel, and today I'm going to go over this little icon down here in the bottom of AudioBus called the MIDI icon. And it's like the old style MIDI, <coughs> which is awesome. And it allows you to do a whole bunch of stuff inside of AudioBus. So that's really, really cool. Uh, main thing I'm going to talk about today is Blocks Wave and how to record with a foot controller but I'm gonna show you a few other little tricks as well and so let's uh, let's get to it all right so let's dive in here so we got this little MIDI icon and when you click on it it kind of brings up a new menu to where you can click on things and you can MIDI learn things and uh, First things first, I don't have any apps loaded, but I would say I want to trigger. So I have my Korg Tactile Triton over here. And I'm just going to hit the play button, and boom, there we go. Now we can exit out, and we can cue, play, and stop without having to switch apps and stuff. All right, so now let's, let's get some apps going on. Let's do D1. Let's get it routing. Um, Alright, so we got D1 going on. I haven't even fooled with any of any of that side of stuff. But and so say I want to route that to Blocks Wave. Alright. And so there's a little trick that I'm doing right now because Blocks Wave doesn't I guess you could turn let's try that without having to do my other trick because I'm going to save that other trick for another video. So now we have Blocks Wave recording or opened up. Let's just do a new a new session here. Let's just discover a drum. Let's maybe just some percussion. Okay, I can I can I can handle that, but it's a little loud and so Let's go over here to the mixer and let's hit this little icon and now let's click that and it's going to give me a option to adjust and I'm going to move a controller and I'm going to hit done and that's not going to work because that's D1. I need to go back over here and open up block wave and send it to the system out. Then I can go to the mixer and learn the next one on my list and then I can adjust the volume without having to constantly go to the mixer page so that's pretty cool so right now I can't hear anything that's being played on um, the keyboard here So now I can because I enabled monitoring over here. Um, if I go back over here, okay, I can still do it. So just enable, make sure you enable monitoring on Blocks Wave. Okay. So now, what do we want to do? Well, we want to record something in, but we, we want to be hands free. And right now, Blocks Wave don't have a way to do that. But if you have this option, then everything that's in the little sidebars on AudioBus or in this top bar is MIDI mappable with whatever controllers you have plugged in. So I have a FBV Express MK2 USB MIDI controller thing. It's from Line 6. It's mainly for their apps, but it's just got a USB port and it'll plug right in and it will work with <coughs> anything. It's very low profile and it is USB bus powered and so that's awesome. And so say I want to just be able to record, well I'm just gonna hit a button. Okay, this next trigger right here is for the loop length, and so I want it to be a top button there. And then the next button is for the triggering of the which loop that I want. Now you can't switch from the sets of loops, and so you'll have to switch back and forth. <clears throat> but if you want to do that, and you were like, man, I wish we could app switch. 
with MIDI. That would be so you can. <laughs> and so I'm going to click this little icon right there and I'm going to hit two, F2 on my keyboard over here and then that's going to allow me to switch. But what if I'm playing on the keyboard and I want to be able to hit the record without having to fumble around with trying to find where my footing is. Well, I can hit the record button again and I can do a new one and I can hit the record button on my Triton Tactile and then now I have two bindings and so I could record with my foot or I could hit the record button up there which is pretty awesome and so say I want to do that with being able to control the loop which one then I'm just gonna arrow over that way for that one and then as far as the this one goes I'm gonna hit the little loop button and that's gonna allow me to change which length of loop that I want and I can go I can toggle back and forth to the loops through the loops and so now I have control here on my tactile and down here of block slave Let's get that going, I see. So we got that going. I'm using the chord feature on the Triton Tactile to, to trigger chords. If you're wondering, there's not an app doing it, it's a built into the tactile. I'm trying to figure out if I want to keep it or not. <clears throat> okay, so now we can go to the next loop if we want to. And say we want to switch to D1. Well, let's go ahead and make us a little switch to D1 kind of option. I did two, so we'll go to three. And when I want to come back to Audio Bus, I'm going to do the first button. And so now I can go there. Go to the mixer here. Oh, no wonder. Sounds weird. All right, so um, let's see what else can we do. So, you know, we could sit there and record things in if we wanted to switch <coughs> back over to blocks and be able to, you know, discover another drum session let's delete that let's go back over here and discover drum session you know can't do that with the app um, blocks wave a good way for blocks wave to implement MIDI learn without having to actually do any code guys to add in some more stuff on the sidebar. I'm not sure how much stuff you could add into the sidebar, but I'm sure you could probably talk to uh, Michael about, hey, maybe there's another little menu options of things that I could expand and have the sidebar small, but when the MIDI option portion is available, you know, you could do a lot more. I don't know. I'm not a developer, so I don't know all that, all that stuff. Um, so yeah. So that's pretty much it. You can, uh, you know, switch apps, which is awesome. You can control the mixer, which is awesome. And uh, yeah, anything that's of anything that's available, um, you know, you can switch AUs. You bring up an audio unit, and you can switch from it. You know, any other app that has any unique features on the little sidebar you'll be able to MIDI map it so sampler can do that you can record on sampler and so although not exact science and it won't you can quantize it um, you can quantize sampler <coughs> but it might be a little easier to be able to 
trigger with a foot or with a finger and get your timing a lot better inside of if you're recording a loop inside of sampler and so let's why not so let's let's unlink it from d1 and let's send d1 to sampler here um, and let's just do a new project I think I'm at 102. Um, I mean, there's there's a way there's ways to get sampler to uh, to sync up. Um, I don't think it shows up down here, does it? Nope. Um, I think there's there's ways. I'm not fooling with that. So I just want to. Let's get a plucky sound. I know there's a harp. Oh, wait, crap! I'm not using my, I'm not using the sounds from that. So let's uh, let's do a plucky. All right, so let's uh, go back here and see record function right here. And so get the MIDI, record, and. I guess I'm about to choose another another button, so I'm gonna do with my foot up here for sampler. Now let's just stay with the beat. Let's bring it up a little bit. So if I just wanna kinda do do that, let's see. Boom! That's already reversed. So it's not it's not exactly right on the money, and it was probably me, and you know, if you worked on your time, it could be definitely better, but and I guess if you wanted to bring up I did eight, if you wanted to adjust the the points, not too not too hard. Such a fun app. where I get lost just get lost in playing with that that's just so much fun um, <clears throat> I guess that's um that's about it can't really think of anything else I mean other apps you know these are I've only used a few apps here but any app you want to put in in any of your sessions that you have um, you can save profiles okay so this is a profile that's that's saved and any time that I you know if I save this session let's see go to sessions uh, you preset and call this a uh, grouchy name save sure why not call it grouchy name all right so save state for blocks wave save state for all that and let's close it all out all right and let's go back in to audio bus let's go to 
grouchy name, load. Let me go tap to launch. Tap to launch. Come on. There you go. You know, if I go back into the MIDI profiles, you know, test is the one that's on there, and all the MIDI mappings are back where I want to go. Why didn't, oh yeah, I need to load, because I need to launch D1. You know, my iPad has been acting weird. I don't know why. I, I don't know. It has been acting weird though, so restart. Let's get out of the MIDI and restart. Okay, so there we go. It's working again. Back to audio bus. Faders. Faders are working. You know, there's no way to MIDI control other than the record, but and sampler. But you kind of get the idea. So whatever. So what apps are do you plan on trying out? Um, I'm gonna try some more out and uh, see if I come up with any other apps that are really cool. I thought the block wave one <clears throat> was really awesome, and the sampler being able to you know at least have a be able to foot control MIDI map it was great. Being able to have multiple mappings. Uh, for different ones and so if you're here then you can hit and if you're you know guitar playing you got your foot or whatever you know you've got multiple maps to the same triggers which is really really cool and um, I guess that's it so thanks for watching guys uh, hopefully this was um, helpful and informative and uh, I will uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're not like the video really helps and uh, just leave a comment on another app that you're going to try to you know maybe um, what apps you want to see if they don't already have Audiobus implemented with Audiobus being able uh, to do MIDI mapping what other apps would you like to see and you know are you going to be have you strayed away from Audiobus and kind of you know maybe now that it has MIDI you know maybe going back to it and, and exploring things because it does open up Blocks Wave because I know a lot of users out there that love Blocks Wave and they would love to be able to switch apps with MIDI and that everything is it's so Audiobus 3 is coming into this you know opening up other doors that you know no other app has been able to do and uh, and such so uh, I will uh, talk to you guys later